we have a special guest who is visiting our home earth after 50,000 years. Yes, yes, I am talking about the comet which is there in the night sky right now. And if you are not a comet nerd or you don't want to capture this comet with your smartphone, better leave this video right now. Yes, you are right. This video is all about how to find the comet which is there in the night sky these days. And I know you will be curious because all your social media walls will be flooded with this type of comet posts. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the comet in the night sky, how to photograph it and how to process it slightly to get a final image. And I have good news for you. You can capture this comet with just a smartphone. Yes, you don't need any telescopes. You can also capture it with a DSLR with a kit lens like this. Last year I have seen a comet which is uh, known as a Leonard comet and I have captured this with this type of kit lenses. And I must say you will need a tripod because we are gathering light from the comet for more time. So faint objects you need to capture with a long exposure. So I will be explaining all this process in the video so watch this video till end. So if you open the Stellarium app, you will find live sky view and uh oh, stupid moon with his bright face always makes our imaging session very difficult because night sky gets overexposed and anyway, you will see the comet right there, that's beautiful, which is near the pole star, which is the north star and if you point your smartphone or camera towards the north, it should work just fine. The warning, make sure that you use this type of compass to find the north and don't use those apps which are available on play store because that will move you round and round and you will never find the comet. So once you align your uh, smartphone towards the north, go to the pro mode and you will see this type of settings wherein you have to set your ISO to 3200 white balance at auto so that you can get good colors like original colors after stacking and exposure time to 32 seconds so if you are getting star trails that means the star is appearing like a line that's because of earth's rotation so uh, reduce this uh, number to 16 seconds that will be fine so for DSLR I recommend using the ISO to 1600 so that you will get less noise. Also make sure that you will use a timer because when you touch the screen for clicking the pictures you will wobble the smartphone and you will get a wobbly image because we are capturing light for more time. So if you set a timer to 2 seconds and the exposure time is 16 seconds so total 18 seconds. So the smartphone will take uh, 16 or 18 seconds to capture the uh, image like this because we are gathering light for more time so dull objects like comet will appear bright when you take long exposures so after you stack all the images you will get it with less noise with bright shiny comet that will be great also make sure that you will take at least 50 photos and if you are lazy, I have an idea for you. Just download the intervolometer from Play Store that will capture the images automatically by after 16 seconds of interval that is long exposure and you can enjoy the comet with a cup of coffee and take at least 50 images so that after stacking you will get a much reduced noise with a bright comet. So all the best for imaging session. So for the DSLR, the capturing part is the same, but you just have to focus your uh, DSLR to a bright star because the lens will not be at focus. So that will make you in trouble. So you just have to set your camera towards the bright star like this and you open the live mode and set your ISO to max and exposure to max and just find, just try to focus it with a focusing ring. Make sure that you have selected the manual focus of your lens and you will see a bright star like this. So zoom in and you can make out the star is like a donut. So you just have to focus it until you get a sharp smallest blob like this 
you can see if I turn my ring towards the anti-clockwise you will see the blob is becoming larger and larger and larger and if I turn to clockwise you will see you will see it has bigger so that's the right focus right there let me show you the donut this is the donut and the focus is focus is just right there this is the sharpest focus i'm getting and yes you are now ready to capture the comet so to stack your frames you can use this sequator software which is very easy to use software that you can download it free from the internet so you have to open your all captured photos in this software and set your out file with a nice name and then i recommend you to select those four options and click on start button so this will take a while and the software will give you a final image that you can process it later in the photoshop yes so that's how you can capture the comment and if you manage to capture this comment send your images to me my insta id is in the channel description and i am also planning to capture this comment but it's very very cloudy here so let's see how it goes on and wish you clear skies and thanks for watching this video and finally like this video and subscribe to this channel